What is going on, Bed Nation? I hope you're having a great morning. My name is Bleaves, and we're going to talk about price action right now. Uh, until just a few minutes ago, we had a nice little run going. Uh, there was a little bit of sell-off, sold down to the 50 MA, so it would be expected anyway because we had a nice little bounce, a nice little move towards the upside. So uh, we got some exciting stuff to go over, and uh, I think you're going to like it. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content, and let's kick it off right now. So first and foremost, we've got price action over here. Uh, you can see there's a big, big red candle that just happened over here. A little sell-off that just happened. <clears throat> However, uh, moving over into this, you can see right here, we kind of just wicked down to the 50 <coughs> MA, which would be expected. We had bounced above the 20. Uh, the potential there was to use it for support, but we need a real bullish indicator to try to get above that. Uh, the important part to it all, however, is that we're trading above the 200 right now. We've been trading a, a below the 200 MA uh, for a little while right now. So getting back over, uh, it's been a few days coming uh, in the longer time frame. Uh, in the longer trading time frames, looks a little different. You can see right here, we had that breakout from the, the wedge pattern that we had formed uh, not that long ago. And... Uh, this little breakout took us for a little while above the 20. Now, on this one, we need to get up above about 7,000 in order to reclaim the 50. If we do that, that becomes a very bullish indicator and you start to see a crossover happening and that crossover would look something like, um, a little something like that. So if we can break out over this, very bullish indicator, uh, giving us some upward momentum. Now, um, news that you need to know, Evergrande, the Chinese company sold off, uh, being forcibly sold, assets being liquidated by Hong Kong courts. This is not good for the world in general. Um, now, with that being the case, you might be wondering, why is the market still in the green today? Well, because the European markets maybe don't get manipulated as much as the U.S. market. But the U.S. market will take a, a great interest in Evergrande today. And we'll probably dump on every market. This is one of those or has the potential, even though it's not in the Chinese market and the Arabic market, and the European market, the United States might try to use it as a black swan event so that they can do a massive sell off. So I'll be watching for that today. Uh, maybe look and see that you're going to get some entry prices on some projects and, you know, just uh, maybe uh, something will start to happen on the positive after that but uh, you can also by the way if you go back over here look and see that you know a lot of meme coins sold off in the overnight market that generally means that the asian market who loves meme coins it, it generally means that they are exiting in those spaces in the meme coin spaces stuff like that they're uh, protecting their capital on the sidelines but that has not translated to bitcoin not translated to ethereum so it's a little interesting what the market is doing but we'll, you know, we'll keep an eye on this and we'll let you know. Now, uh, in other news, uh, it turns out I have competition. Um, going to be starting a live trading show every morning at 9.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 10-ish a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Working on getting it set up today. And we'll start the show tomorrow. Terrific. Because I don't have enough competition anyway, Ben. Anyway, guys, if you can, go check this show out. Uh, see what Ben's talking about. It's going to be on at 9.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 10 o'clock uh, every day. And uh, you can certainly maybe learn just a little bit about um, trading, a little bit about whatever's going on. Especially, you might even learn something about Ben Corn. But I don't know yet. We'll see how this thing lasts. But thank you for tuning in. It's not financial advice. My name's Believes. I'm always right. And uh, we'll talk to you again very, very soon.